Hi, it's Adam Maxwell and Joe Reardon from Agriculture Victoria. We're here to show you how to do an alcohol wash to look for exotic parasites such as Varroa in your honeybee colony. First rule around biosecurity though, is to make sure you wash your hive tool, remove all the honey and wax from any other hive that you've been to. Ensure that you don't move bacterial spores from hive to hive. So next step is we always take out the second frame from the edge and just make sure the queen's not on there. And we rest that on the upturned lid against the super, <clears throat> or if it's just a single, just on the lid itself. That's so we can be sure that we don't, we don't roll the queen and that we've got room to move these other frames. The next step is we want to get around about 300 nurse bees. And what we're going to do is shake them onto that white paper and get them ready to go into an alcohol wash. So we'll just go to the next frame where there's a few more bees. Check, no queen. All right, we'll drop some of those on here. And then we go to another one. We want to get nurse bees from across the brood nest. Check, no queen. No queen present. And just one more drop. Around about three frames, you should get the good coverage. All right, and we'll just down here and I'll do another drop. Thanks, Adam. Then what we're gonna do is just put that over on the super there. We're gonna let it set, sit for a couple of minutes and the field bees will fly off. We'll be left predominantly with nurse bees. In the meantime, we can reassemble the hive so we don't stress the bees. The next step is that we're going to, I'll reassemble the hive while we're still waiting for those field bees to go. There's none of these. And then with the alcohol, we've got 100 mil of alcohol in here, methylated spirits or 70% alcohol is okay, but metho is easy, you can get a hardware. The main thing is that around a beehive, add the 100 mil in before you actually approach the beehive rather than trying to get the metho and spooking the bees out. They don't particularly like the odour. Then we're gonna pour around 300 in there. That should do. And this, this hive, We'll just put that to the side. This hive doesn't have an excluder, so we can pour those bees straight back into the top. If it had an excluder, you've made sure the queen's not there, but just as good practice, tip them in under the excluder or, or at the entrance. I'll give this to Adam. The next step now is to upturn it, mix it, and make sure that the bees are totally covered in alcohol. Kills the bees on contact and gives it a good shake. What we want to do is dislodge any, any parasites like Varroa mite or Tropal Alaps um, from, from the bees themselves. A good shake for about 20 seconds and that should dislodge anything that's there. Now the alcohol draws through to the bottom. It's, a, it's considered to be a more sensitive test than sugar shake, but sugar shake, you're not killing your bees. They're both meaningful exercises. This is a far more sensitive test. Um, However, they're both very meaningful and for people to do sugar shake or alcohol wash at home, that's it, very important for the industry, for hobby beekeeping and for the department. And if you see anything unusual when you're doing any of these tests, please call Agriculture Victoria or the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline.